decisive man in the business, when you want to change, either you make a change or you won't. But change is difficult, but change is necessary. Change is survival, but change is to dominate. You don't go in the business trying to follow someone. You create a new market. Yeah. We want, we are not just want to increase our market share, we own the market. We own the financial market. Yeah. And this is, today is a startup of 14,000 uh, entrepreneurs, of 14,000 startups in this room. And some of the startup here gonna explode and excel and go expand throughout the U.S. and Canada. Yeah. You can turn around. I see it happen in, a, in the last 12 months. Once you begin to let the system, you bind to the system. So, you know, Victor, I did Victor. You know, probably the best example, the best builder in the past six months, I must say, I, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I observed the whole organization, but Victor Liao doubled his income in six months. From about $5,000 and hit a million dollars. You can turn your company from 5000 to a million in six months. Last six months, he promoted two more CEO. One and one already done, and the other one is waiting to uh, uh, verify five and certify. Because he has a vision. Because he bought to the vision. Vision is something that should be shared. A vision of your own is not good. So is the system. Vision is for a large number, so is system. You have to think, if nobody needs a, a vision when you think it's small, or you want to do a small thing. And nobody going to build a system, and if you are very contained, controlled, and small thinker. You don't have to be contained in the way it was because you belong to a hierarchy, because you belong to a way of things doing the business, because you was trained that way. Look at the number you have. If it's not to your satisfaction, look deeper and find somebody who know how to do it and copy them, learn from them. You are your own CEO of your startup. Let me explain how World System Builder build a global business. You have to define your market. Mm -hmm. I'm sure when Apple uh, come out with a phone, they don't think that they're gonna try to better, to try to do a better phone than Nokia or other guy. They have a game plan with a different platform. They, the, the definition of a bigger market, define your market first. And we found our market. It's so clear. It's so clear for me so many years, for the last 20, 30 years, we have so many people contain themselves about two, three legs. How can you talk about building something big and make great money? And we did have people who make great money. Several hundred thousand dollars just had one leg. 
and, and since everybody built one leg and two legs, and you say, that's it. And become the upper, the business become like a lottery. I wish I picked the right leg. And it, because the rarity of a leg, you begin to have a breakdown of, of, of other potential. Anybody who don't fit the profile of a superstar, you tend to look at a different way. You look at the eye, you, you look to the, those people down. I have a global point of view. I have a big mentality. I look at every human being could be a big, big startup. And I, I always been feel that way. I never underestimate anybody, and I can, I also never overestimate anybody. Because a lot of people who think they are big, eventually they're not that big. And a lot of people who don't think they are big, they will become very big. Because there's a difference. There is no real big or small person. It's only, there is, there is big vision or big system. You may be very talented, skillful, but your vision is not that bad. Doesn't get you too far. Neither you are too small. We are so small, you lack up a lot of uh, skill by the normal standard, but you, you have a big vision. Let me tell you about vision. It's not just a dream. Vision is something that is not a dream. It's a dream with a clear, destination, a clear picture. Everybody dreams to make a million, or two million, or uh, ten million. But vision is that you see the path, the goal, and the way to do it. So, when we start four years ago, we know in order for us, for another 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, in order for us to go to the world, and America is the best place, probably the biggest market in the world. If we can win it here, we can win it anywhere. And we can see very clearly, nobody really can, they are in the financial services, but they are not in the financial education services. And we find the need. We find a big need for people out there, a growing need now of the people who want to understand. Everybody talk a good game. We are, are we going to educate consumer? But they just talk, but they don't do it. Nobody have a class of consumer. Nobody really have the team effort. All the company out there always want and expect the person go out the field tonight and tomorrow. Where's the, the sale? Where's the recruit? But we are the only organization right now say how many people you was able to share with them the financial information? How many people you invite to come to the workshop? We change the game. <laughs> Tell to the bank out there, tell the big, rich, Wall Street firm out there, tell, tell to the company out there, the insurance company out there say, hey, stop selling. Tell your people going out today, tonight, your manager, close the door. Let's go out campaigning. They always look for sale. They build a mindset to those people for a long, long time that you don't have a sale, you are nothing. You are weak. You are a loser. You're not recognized. You're not a hero. You want to change that mindset? Yeah. You want to get a market share. You build trust. 
But before people trust you, they have to understand you. If they don't understand you, how can they trust you? You don't want to go out and work with the old way in the industry because you want to make a sale. You, your skill will overcome your trust. So there are so many gurus out there teach people how to close. To me, it's so simple. It's a no-brainer. I want to be, I want to be treated the way. I want to build a business that treat people the way I want to be treated. I want to understand. Treat me like an intelligent subject. And we find that market. We have find that incredible market need. So that's why we have to start with this thing. <clears throat> I talk about building it big. I want to show you how we build this this thing. To build a new industry, any industry, especially in a large scale, you think about a new industry, any industry, it it takes a long time. I say. I always believe that to build a business take you at least five years, but building a new industry take you 20 years. In the last few years, we start to lay the groundwork with the blue book. But that's just the beginning. We got to learn how to approach. We want to change. We want to revolutionize the way we we, we, we go to contact people in the, in the business that we can do so much, we can help so much, we can change so many people's future, and yet the people are afraid to go out and talk to other people. So how will we be able to build something big when people are afraid? Because people have learned out because of the past experience they deal with the financial industry. So we said, that why do that? Why don't we just go out and just share information? No requirement, no threat. Just build that initial trust. We took the fear away from the approach, from contacting people. Before people understand, we had to start somewhere. We got to start a dialogue. We start the, the first page. And this is the one. And, I, and as, as we do this thing, we begin the second year. This is 2016, 2017. We begin to have come out with a workbook. Let me tell you, it's not easy to have those workshops. We have to build a Curriculum, we have we classes and we have to go through compliance. We have to so many things, a long process, and finally we have a workshop. Now we have the workbook and we have the, we have the information, we have the workshop, so that people can understand. People buy, come there to workshop to understand more. People who never buy, they come to workshop, they will find their need. We feel that there's a, the market for the 21st century where people really want to take charge of their, their own decision. They don't want to be sold to, but they want to buy from people. Because I understand I want to buy this thing. And we feel that when people understand and they want to buy from, the persistent and the persistency better for the consumer rather than if I buy, but because that I just listen to you and because, you, but I don't understand. What good for the consumer will they buy and they don't keep it? Because building a financial future takes time. So the workshop now begins. This is a tedious process we built the last three years. And then now we have the, the, the financial education. We have the 
Blue Book, now we have a workshop. But you know what? We've got to go to the next step. We gotta do market penetration. And you cannot penetrate the market. You can go, not go to a, a big market by inviting people twice a week or sometimes once a week. Home BBM is the only way to build this business. You got a campaigning at the office, you got to do it at home. Home BBM is small group presentation. You can do two, three people, you bring the people home. This is in the people home, people is in their own control. They don't come to a fancy office. They feel comfortable in their house. It's a good way to, to bring this campaign to people home. I know a long, long time ago, it doesn't matter how good a talker I am in the office, with a beautiful setting in the office, with all the plaque I have in the office, with all the poster I have in the office, with all the fancy things I have in the office, but people don't come. In marketing, if people don't come, you come to people. That's where the market is. People don't come, and they come to people. You come to their home, you come to their office, you come to their church, you come to their company, you come to a coffee shop, you come <laughs> hang anywhere, anytime. But the first, the company, the startup company who have more market penetration win. And to build it big, you had to have some procedure. Whether we do four step, or we do six step, or we do seven step, or, but we have to have some procedure purely for duplication purpose. Quality control and expansion. You want to build it big, you have to think about expansion. You have to have some procedure so that predictable. And it takes a long time for us to continue to push and tell people to go out and do home BBM. Because Johnny don't want to change. Mary don't want to change. They always want to do the old way. They want people to come to the office. You know why? Because Mary and Johnny only go to work twice a week. He don't want to go people home. Too much work. But you can never be big unless you lead the chart of expand your business. Now you have the seventh step. You have people to drive the expansion. They got to know that we got to get to double digit. We got to get to uh, a blue shirt, the red shirt, to 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 uh, the green shirt, and, and eventually get the black shirt. Without a clear target, they still do it, but not consistent. They gotta be. We begin to set a standard for expansion, for duplication, for growth. Entrepreneur knows that you have to reach a certain minimum to be profitable to be workable, to be able to sustain and continue your business. If you can, if your company or your comp organization don't get to a certain number, you're wasting your time. You're a salesman. You never have a clear goal for your company. You only go sell when you have appointment. You're a salesman. You going out when you feel good, you're a salesman. When somebody motivates you and you're going out, you're a salesman. But you're going out every day, you're a businessman. You're a businesswoman.
I hate, I like to motivate you, but I hate to motivate you. If every time you are to feel because you feel good, no work gonna get done. So you gotta see that you gotta have double digit. You gotta see yourself, yourself, have to do 10K a month, a minimum, like three or four transactions a month. If you're in business, what do you do if you don't have one transaction a week? If you sleep, you don't need so many times of sleep like that. If you're busy, you're not that busy. You can do a list. Three, four, five. Why others can have 15, 20, 30? Why you don't have a 10K? Even you're part-time. This is for the part-time. You do once a week is for part-time and sometime. If you really take it serious, should, you should have 10, 20 a month. That is a giant program. So now we set the standard. And now, now you have a lot of people join you, a license. But you are salesman. You sell so good. <coughs> And everybody, when you walk the house, you close just like, snap a finger. But nobody duplicate you. You see people turn left, you don't have to talk left. You turn turn right, you don't have to talk right. But I cannot duplicate you. You see, the biggest fear of the people is not that they don't know the thing. They just don't know what, what is, what is what, because they see so many trainers train different way. We say that we have a system. But where are the system? Where the duplication is? You know, many of us was for a long time learned to sell the product. But few of us sell the concept. The fourth step is an effort to sell the concept. People like Dr. Ray Chen observed, he said that people don't want life insurance product, but they want to, to, to what is done, which is a concept, what is the purpose, you sell the purpose. So the four corner, four spoke, uh, four, four spoke is summarized, what the purpose of the product. This is what you put the money out, what is it you pay? But what is that for? Because you want to grow your money, you want safety with your money, you want to get the tax benefit allowed to you and also you want protection. That's a concept. Every product has a purpose and the four cornerstone, the four step, it brings out the clear concept. Also, it clears the conflict and confusion of many the salesmen right now in our field force because too many people, too product oriented. Some people like company A, some people like company B. To me, a car is a car is a car. A van is a van is a van. <laughs> there is not so much different between this van and the other van. And not so much different between this car and the other car. I cannot figure out really the difference between Toyota Camry and Honda Accord or Nissan Ultima. Maybe the difference is the sunroof or the hubcap or maybe one have a eight uh, speaker music uh, and, and the other one have four. But by the end of the day, each car about the same price range with same mileage, the same economy and it's help do the same function. Yet, the salesman trapped into the product. You are not going to sell the product. 
the, you the one who confuse and speak and chew and debating about one product or the other. The consumer out there just want to know, this is what I pay, what do I get? Do I get this car or does it run for me? The fourth step is to unify a team that can be able to present to the, uh, to the consumer a, a very, very clear way. People walk out. As a person who got to present the station on, on my life, I have 20 things to talk to, to, to the consumer. But then I can walk out, they don't, they don't, three days later they ask what you remember, hardly they can name more than five. Usually they can name about four. So I always think that if I will come back tomorrow, next week, and 10 days, if the consumer want to remember, I can only remember four things while they buy, buy the product. What is do for me more main thing that I'm gonna, that, that, to, 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 uh, that to focus on? So that's an effort. So when the, the friend, the husband, the wife ask him or her why to buy this thing, say, honey, because we want this, 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 and this four things. So when somebody else out there say, no, 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 you don't need a car, you need a van. He know, no, 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 I don't want a van. I know a car because I know this, 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 and this. And this allow us to simplify and also allow us to diversify. You cannot provide to the market a growing, sophisticated market with different need, with one product. There is an incredible need out there that needs growing. And nobody be able, no company out there can be able to get to the market because all company out there and all agency out there, all organization out there could never have a comprehensive, a holistic approach, a, a big picture view for the people. Because you know, you know why they don't have? They don't have this. We have this. And, and then, after we work, on the fourth step, you know what? The last three, four years for me, did probably the most incredible hard time. Hey, you build a startup company, you build a global company, we, you, we build a whole foundation. We are on the road. We travel. We 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 sell. Uh, easy start. I mean, so many uh, things. We we have the different school, giant school throughout the country. We travel all over the place. And then, we on a webinar. We want, we, have, we want the entrepreneur to speak up. Don't be like a downline, don't be a passive person. Speak out in the campaign, in the business of expressing and selling and talking, and you are so quiet. Say something, be part of something, understand, get into your blood, get into your confidence. Otherwise, you are a silent company. You're, we are our own company. You cannot build a team you, unless, until you are part of the team. You cannot be build a country until you're part of a country operation. You gotta see that somebody out there in Florida talk on a webinar and say, I know somebody web, uh, in Florida. If uh, you see uh, somebody in Canada, say, I know somebody in Canada. I know somebody in Edmonton, somebody in Toronto. You know, things begin to walk in your mind. It may not be not today, tomorrow, but eventually, open, open, open up. You may go to the wedding, you meet a cousin who happened now just moved to a new city, you have another one. That's the way it build up your business. 
And the Titan call, why don't you want your team trained by the best? Why don't your team gonna be trained by people like me? You know what is this thing? This is expansion to me. This is multiple Asia. This is build long distance. This is domination right here. You think you're building a company just sitting there and show up on a Tuesday night and you motivate their butt and they're gonna win? That's all. Dinosaur thinking. <laughs> and let me tell you, Trend Academy. How many we did? Eight already, right? Ten. Been six months. Next month, we do four of them in one month. I want 10,000 people at Trend Academy. Not one time. You are not for real until you train the academy seven times. Because you know what? Train the academy is blue book, workshop, home BBM, GCO program, four step, easy start, everything is two day training. Trade Academy is a system right now. The system of building a training machine. Just like a fighting machine. They said that, the Bruce Lee uh, said that, I fear not the guy who know a thousand kick, but just fear one who kick one kick a thousand times. Most of you, is those guys who have thousand kick and none of that kick anywhere. <laughs> because why? Today you go to a Tuesday, you come in and somebody go motivate you about talk about busy how. And then the next day, Saturday morning, somebody say, This is how. And then next Tuesday, a provider come in and say, My problem is better. And the next day, so everybody different feature, different benefit. And a part-time woman, a single mother who have a job, and a social worker walking in and say, wow, 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 wow. And every day, wow. And every day, wow, wow, one day, wow. <laughs> Talk about insane. In a, in a, in, in a wide scale. Train economy is an effort to train. How many of said like that? One time, two times. Three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times. You, uh, you know, I, 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 I come to this country, even I went sport. But first I come to this country, I mean, we've been playing soccer. So I come to America, and they have something called football. You think I watch football and I like it right away one time? I have no clue. A bunch of guys just hit each other. <laughs> but you watch the second time, the third time, you begin to ask, why he do that, whatever. Ah, ah. You begin to understand a little bit. By the third time, you have a feel about it. 
But then somebody get a fine and the uh, referee please who uh, put the well, uh, uh, whistle and then now you begin to understand the rule. About four or five times later on you begin to understand and you enjoy it. And about the second time maybe you begin to like it. Here you have a guy who come here. Let me see. What they teach me? Huh? Send us up again. <laughs> Four step again. Easy start again. You know what? You already know you're going to lose by that attitude. And your team is going to lose by attitude. <laughs> now when we... Let me tell you. The modern day, and within 12 months from now, I expect you to master the blue book. You must have the book to the point that you can say every single line, every word. You're going to sit in a workshop. You're going to do the workshop. You sit in a workshop one, ten times. And you begin to teach the workshop. You take a few lines, you feel a few paragraphs. One day you take workshop one. One day you teach workshop two. And one day you do six workshops. Now you know how the blue book, not only that, you master. You begin the, the guy who is a workshop. Now you can go to Home BBM a few times. You campaign, you build, expand your company. You work out a four step, and everybody say, if you can do it, and you can make people understand it's so simple like that, I can duplicate you. And you have people continue to do like that, and they train academy, we affirm that. Rebuild that, train economy, put every piece into one perspective, backed by the webinar for the community people, for the people ready to, to, to build something big. And uh, now it's time for you to build something solid. Python is a major program. You know, uh, I can think um, we, we've got, got to build a program that, uh, you know, I like SMD, but SMD is title. I like something, you know, I should have called it a main shop program for the function of it. But, I, you know, we just want to give a name so, for the sake of become a title program. A title program is a main shop program. Now you begin to have training academy. What is the purpose of training academy? To build training. I'm a builder. The only thing that matters to me is a trainer and a bunch of bishop. Sale is good, but no matter. Recruit is good, but they're not a matter. What matters is the trainer I have. The guy who can go out and be able to do a, a presentation, the whole BBM, or one-on-one -on -one in the office. The one who will do, do four steps to make the consumer understand the solution. And the one who can start people, easy to start people, is a trainer. And most important of all, the trainer is somebody who committed to go on the field on a daily basis. That's matter to me. The rest is not matter. And we have a trainer academy and I know my job. I know you can do the, the train academy. Most of you is very powerful speaker. But you know what? I said that for the sake of the organization and in order to show that leader did it first, for the next one year or two years, I will be very involved to put the, the new program in. But when the Titan of the train economy in, in the game and run like a machine, nobody can. 
market expert brand. The future of WSB and WMG depend on how many trainers we have. We don't depend on the, the big guy or the little guy. We depend on the guy who out of the field come paying every day and help people to understand, help people with a solution, and help people to get started. That's the trend. And the bigger number of trainers you have in your base, the bigger organization you have. To become a trainer on a part-time basis, just become a trainer, do 10,000 points. You have a major, major, you have a major, major personal income, part-time, full-time. Based on the compensation system right now with 10,000 points, you probably gonna, you're gonna hit about 5K to 7K somewhere with 10,000 points. That's a great part-time income. And if you do growing up a little bit more, you have a, a few trainers under you, let's say you have two, three other people under you, you have two, two other guys, you have three, you have about 30,000 points, you will get into six-figure income. How easy is that? How, how doable is that? How, Duplicatable is that. Just to find two men and you become a trainer and two other people do like you. May take you a month, may take you five months. Whatever it is, you have two other people with you. You make six figure income. That's a good startup company. Does anyone of you here in this room have the patience? the discipline, and the belief to become a trainer, to become a, to, to become a, how many of you have dreamed in your life that I have you give, give me a chance to become a, a business owner, become a, a startup company, I'll do everything I can. I know you can fast start your team. You can uh, few, few train your team. You can uh, uh, train your team. But you know what? Right now, for another 12 months, how about I do that job for you? How you like your team trained by me? How do you like we organize those things for you? All you have to do is to bring them people, those people to see me. Yes. And you have a time control program. If you have five people, you have a, a base shop. You have a really... A, a, a base shop about 50,000, 60,000 people. That, and then you have 10 people. And you have 100,000 base shop. Some will do more than 10,000, some will do less than 10,000. But a trainer is, you have five minimum, you may hit 50,000. 50,000 is a potential major six figure income. <laughs> Thinking about Five people or ten people in the organization. You have ten people in your organization, you do a hundred thousand points a month. Why is your six figure income? And those ten people, all you have to do is just duplicate, put under the system, let somebody. You want to let somebody who have been working on the system for all his life, teach them the system. Let somebody who designed the compensation teach them about the compensation. <laughs> it's so become big, become so doable now. Not only that, we train on compliance. We train you do it right. You have less headache. 
We do all the heavy lifting for you. So, uh, and last month of this, now you, you get to uh, next day, if you want to, personally you have about five, six trainer. You have 10 trainer. You get a green jacket. You have 30 trainer. You become a CEO. So, so any one of you here, knowing that in the next six months, or next 12 months, or even next three months, if you can be able to get 10 people, or 20 people, or 30 people, or make you, uh, take you another two years to have 30 people and go to the train academy consistent. It's not a guarantee, but this is one thing I think I know one thing. If a human being go to train academy, they like it. They they go watch football one time. Or uh, somebody who I take them out in the soccer field, they have play soccer and they take them to the soccer field one time. And then I can get them to the, the, the play in the field a second time. By the seventh time, the guy come in. They gotta be something. There's something in it for them to, to go the second time, the third time. And become the seventh time, become a habit. Winning become a second nature. Four step become a second nature. Seven, seven step of presentation become a second nature. Building a team is a second nature. Have a big vision become a second, second nature. Vision can be built if they hang around with vision. But small-minded also can be built too. Just let them around with small-minded. You define your future. Your future depends on the people you surround with. Look around your people and find that this group of people is going to bring you to bigness. Or oh, these people always pull everybody down. 